Welcome we back, everybody. Welcome back. New shirts, new recording session. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I don't quite remember where we were. I think we were at this particular part. Um, I mean, obviously, we're at this particular part, but I, we, we discussed where we are. I think we're, we're there. We're close to meeting up with everyone, Either if that not or, or we already, already have. have. And apparently, we're going to get into a fight, so I'm just going to charge right in, and we'll see what happens. As we do. Let's get through it. You know, I, I was, after I edited our... Um, yeah, we met everybody. Oh, hell Check yeah. Check it out. Oh, my God. This oh, is that's so cool. right. We have Krumer. Ah, Kr- do we want to... Krumer. Yeah, do we want to use Hogan and Mogan? We do, because they're they're kind of high level right now, right? Yeah, and Hogan and Mogan has already proven to be very useful. They have been effective for us. Um, if only oh, because yes. of their ability. And I know we've already talked that to death, but... I was watching our playthroughs, and I realized that I was making kind of a mistake. You should have Oddleaf go first... Um, because, and then just, like, reorder everybody else, because she's got that trap arrow, so just, like, get that off turn one. Why not just have that be the first hmm. thing that you do? I guess that's a pretty fair point, yeah. especially if you... Yeah, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. I mean, my only thing that I'd say against that is, um, it might prevent your other bigger, beefier guys from getting into the action sooner, but in a way, that's not necessarily bad. No, and if you can shut one guy down like really early on, I think that's going to be the way to go. So I have a question for you, or not not so much a question, but I just have a thought that I want to pose to you. Sure. So when when Tony and Nathan are doing their bastard saga, uh, mm. what is it exactly that they're doing? That like, what's their goal in doing that? Like, what is what, they they do have one, obviously, right? Oh yes. Yeah. So like, what is it? What's what's their goal? All right, I'm gonna put Oddleaf right here so she can just bomb that guy and get out of there. Um, I'm going to put Rook right here. I'm going to put him up here. I'm going to put you over. They can take a couple of slingers, right? Oh, absolutely. So I'm going to put them over here. And I'm going to keep them out of Krumer's way. So that way he doesn't, like, fuck up and trip or something. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. You don't I want him to get stuck. We're good. So, yeah, uh, Tony, and, uh, uh, Tony, Tony and Nathan obviously have, like, a goal in mind as they're playing their, their, their Bastard Saga run. They just, they just want to be huge dicks to everybody, right? More or less, okay. yes. Okay, uh, Rachel and, and Jen want to have the playthrough where they, like, react the most normally, right? Where they act with the most empathy? I, I think what they ended up doing was um, the most good for the most people. Sure, okay. What is, what is the purpose of our pragmatic run what are we trying to accomplish survival purely survival I purely think... survival but to what end i guess that's a good question are I we mean... trying to get this done the fastest like what's our uh, what's our what's our goal hmm because it's it's not clear in the game like it, at the beginning it looked like we were trying to be like the most efficient play oh shit i should have moved her oh wow well <laughs> you tried real hard i'd leave <laughs> That did not end well. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and send uh, him over here, and I'm just going to have him kill this guy. So I, I think the general idea of what we decided was basically that we were playing the game with zero empathy. Okay. Um, but we're and, not going to be assholes, right? No, no. The point isn't to be an asshole. The point is actually to choose what we think is the most efficient and effective action yes. in each situation. Sure. Um and not let our emotions be swayed. So, like, the Bastard Saga, they they will hurt themselves purely just to, to you just know... For the, just for the chaos of it, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, the, for a good example is that they'll use Alette to kill only humans. Yes, because they're assholes. Uh, so our, our way is just zero empathy, but try to, like, be efficient, I guess? Yeah. Is that I, about right? I think maybe the best way of looking at it is probably, yeah, the, the fastest. Okay, so if, if speed is our goal, then then we'll work uh, with that, because there are a couple of moments in the early ones. Sorry, everyone. I know we're, we're getting kind of meta with this whole thing, <laughs> but it, it's it's a discussion that I wanted to have. I had some, I had some questions. Um, so... Yeah, I suppose um, we'll, we'll just try and do this quickly then. We're, we're going to try and finish in, what, like the fewest number of days or something like that? Sure. Yeah, sure. Something like that. Um, I'm just going to bloody flail this guy, because last time I did that, I just got four damage straight through. Off yeah, that was beautiful. It was really nice. Oh. Oh, oh my god, that would have been so nice. I forgot he's only level two, though, so his ability isn't level two yet. Mm. Um, character's abilities only level up every other level, so like once he hits level three, he'll have... No, I need you to actually... Hit this motherfucker. Do you think that's a good way of balancing it? Do you feel like those in between levels kind of feel empty? They aren't though, because you still get like ability upgrades and stuff. Come on, got him. Yes. Yeah, I, I've been I've been posing a lot of questions of the day. You walked around it. 
That son of a bitch! Did he really? Yeah! Oh, motherfucker. What an asshole! <laughs> God damn it! The only thing she did all fight, and he just like, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna walk around it. I don't even know if it's still in the field though. I don't see a marker for it. Maybe it goes away when she dies. I'll be honest, I hadn't considered that. I, I should have probably thought hmm. about that. I don't think it does. I mean, why would an arrow just like stop free falling if the character dies? <sighs> I th I think it just like it takes two or three. Tur well, I guess there aren't really turns per se, no. but I think there's. So many actions that it'll take, okay, and I'm it'll just, just gonna fall. Cripple this guy's armor down, and then maybe he won't be as hard to kill. But he is totally gonna take Ivor out. Ooh, yeah. I mean, Ivor couldn't do any damage to him anyway, no. so it's a good last hurrah. Okay, so I only have I only have one exertion with this guy, so I can't actually kill this dude. Um, I can't really do any damage to him, and I can't kill what's, him. What's his his armor break is two, his right? Armor break is only two, yeah. Um, it might be worth breaking the armor of the big guy. Nah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna cripple this guy and okay. make it so that he can't really do anything, and then maybe Hogan and Mogan can finish him off. It's possible. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's that's one damage. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I should have him just bloody flail this guy. I think so because you'll simultaneously take down armor and deal some damage. Yeah. Without any chance to deflect, I didn't actually consider that before, but that that's is a good point. Yeah, there is no deflecting with. The it, bloody it does always cost you a willpower, so there is like mm. you know a, a cost consideration there. But it's but even if you spend willpower yeah. on a normal attack, the chance to deflect is always still there. there. That's valid, huh? Yeah. So maybe maybe their ability is a little better than we gave it credit for. I know in the early episodes we talked a lot of shit about the abilities in general, um, just because damage is really really effective, and there's no denying that. Point. Oh, absolutely. It's but just Hogan and Mogan uh, is a good example of like using that damage in the ability and suddenly making their ability worth it because their base damage in armor break yeah. is basically worthless. If I move him like here, then he's totally safe from everyone except for this guy who's gonna be functionally crippled. I mean, that slinger's probably gonna hit him, but nah. I mean, maybe, but like, who cares? Yeah, it's not gonna be of any no. significant okay, consequence. So he's gonna do that. Ivor will be able to come over here and not kill him. Yeah, I think at this point Arvor's just good for armor breaking. So Rook is probably going to be the one that has to kill him. Yes. All right, so then Ivor, you just break the rest of this guy's armor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of wish something down. happened if you broke all of all the armor of it, off yeah. of a dredge, because they basically are just armor. Yeah. I mean, they're stone people, right? I guess but like, uh, with Bellower, like, you win the fight. I mean, you, you still have to shoot him with a silver arrow, but you win the fight. That's true. Hey, promote! Oh shit, that was that was kind of a brutal one. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna bloody flail this guy again. I've just been doing bloody flail on this guy, and it's been really, really effective. Yeah. I've been kind of weirded out by how effective it is. <laughs> Did not think it would it would be that good. Yeah, that I means. I, that, that begs a good question too is um, what do you think is the best ability in the game I think there are three that are exceptional um, I think that uh, Oddleaf's ability to set traps is really cool mm -hmm. uh, and it's flavorful and it's different enough from a regular attack that I would do it occasionally um, I think uh, e uh, Eagle's ability to the just like wall. soak three damage on every hit is really really powerful I also think that I'm not going to be able to kill this guy shit I can deal a fuckload of damage to that guy, though. <laughs> because this meester has no armor. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> With an arrow. And that guy only took out Ivor. Oh, no, he also killed Oddly. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> like, she's, she's a trash character anyway. I mean, I was going to say, if he only took down one character... Yeah. Uh, and meanwhile, Krumer and Hogan and Mogan have been out here just, like, mowing down dudes. Like, look at this. That's four guys down between the three of them. You know, that's interesting, is that I feel like every single time we've we've gone through the combat, we've at least had a couple of people felled. Oh, yeah. Um, but I don't think we've ever really, truly felt the consequences of that. Not ever. Except for that one fight that we lost, which, in fairness, was because of my own hubris trying to get so much done when that's probably not... Yep, nope. Do it. I definitely agree. Lesson learned. <laughs> lesson learned. Uh, I can't actually reach anyone, and I don't have any willpower, so this sucks. Maybe... I'm just gonna run this way. Yeah. Call it good. You're gonna mess with him. Or oh. not. Oh, 
or deal armor damage to Krumer. Something totally pointless, that's fine. I'm going to go kill this guy, though, because fuck having another one on the field. Oh, absolutely. It's already going to be tough enough with this guy. 8 and 10 is a really rough stat block. It looks small, but it's not. It is substantial. Ah, you... But, oh, come on, man. Why you got to be that? No, no. <laughs> the one time I'm glad they've got the confirm button. There we go. Yeah, I, so yeah, um, that that was my that was my question. The, uh, the the what are we specifically setting out to do here? Yeah, I guess we never really truly established that in the beginning, but I think we've mostly been playing along that mindset of, of time. I agree. Um, and we've been doing like when we just boogied from Frostbeller, that was that saved us what three episodes? You think it, it really did? <laughs> it, it took me a while to realize too. Um, what was saving us so much time? Yeah, because there was a point where uh, Nathan was talking to me, and he was he was like, "All right, so you know, we're we're at the the city now. We're at the walls, the yeah. Frost Valor, and uh, we're at like episode, you know, like twelve or something. I don't remember what it was exactly. And and he was like, "So where are you and Nick at?" At, by like that point, yeah. was, we were like, "Oh, we were way past the yeah, wall. Way past we're there. at the tower. Like, yeah. oh, what's what taking you, you so long?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so we're getting close. What are you doing exactly? Oh, you're not. You're not doing anything. And then that slinger is. I standing right here. Nice bastard. Okay, I'm gonna bloody flail him because I only have two. See, that's the other nice thing about bloody flails that you can oh oh. Yes! yes! Four on the health! Like a goddamn <laughs> avenging angel. I wonder what the ratio is, because I don't think it's 50-50 with armor and health. I think it, it seems to be. I think it, it prioritizes health a damage. A little bit. I, that, would, that would only make sense. Like, maybe 60-40, but enough to, like, consistently benefit Push us. It, yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise, I don't think we could pull off those like four in a row. If it really was 50-50, that's that's pretty unlikely. Yeah, and I don't think that ability is affected by armor at all. No, not even slightly. so. Even if the enemy has no armor, you're still going to deal one damage yeah. for each hit. Got him. I don't think we should. I don't think so either. We yeah. lost too many people in that. We lost uh, Ivor. Uh, what did I do? Hit the wrong button is what you did. Oh. Okay. Well, we're doing this the so, hard way. Oh, this will suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> is there any like is there like a run button? Can I like Is there like a flea option? There's no flea option. There's no flea option. There's no flea option in this game. Which is a little surprising. I feel like a lot of tactical games they often give you the do. option, but this one gives you no outs. I mean, there's there are plenty of tactical games that don't, right? Like, I, I don't think Final Fantasy Tactics yeah, it does. gives it doesn't oh, really. Oh yeah, and Tactics oh. Advance too. Yeah, you can run away from a fight. Okay. You cannot run from fights in this one though. Wait. I mean. Wait. 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 No. No. Oh. Ho, 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 Nothing ho, ho, ho. I want to do is gonna work, so I'll just do this. There you go. Yeah, I mean, at least Rook is still in a good spot. Rook is still in good shape, and Krumer's still in good shape, too. He's not too badly Kr injured. Yeah, Krumer's okay. He's going to get injured, though, if I don't, like, take care of him. Yeah. So I'm going to take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I can't do a whole lot. Um, so Damn, I'm just going to do... So much armor. Yeah, he's got a ton, but he's got less... He's got half of what he did last turn. Um, so I'm going to do what I can with these guys, but we'll we'll see. I have lost a lot, a lot of health. So if there was a, a flea mechanic, do you think that would be breaking theme? I think it might be. I think that might be the reason why there isn't one. Yeah. I think the, the inability to run from your enemies is sort of what makes this game hard to, like, think about. But I don't know. I mean, th this game does a great job at kind of always... Keeping you feeling I'm uneasy. Gonna I am gonna die here. There's no way I can I can I can beat these guys. Oh yeah, you I only have right two guys left. Fucking... Oh my god. Okay. Well, I don't know. I I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna die here. That's okay though, because uh, I if, if you beat the first wave, you don't like suffer the consequences for death. No, um, you do. Do you? Yeah, we we oh, found shit. that out the hard yeah, way that's too. Right, you do. You do. Just wipe and do the game over. Well, this episode's going to be a waste. Sorry, everyone. I did not mean to press that button that I pressed when I pressed it in the manner that I pressed it. Um, I am going to go up here, though, and avoid that explosion, because that will be super nasty. Yeah, I'm actually Do I take that guy out, or do I take this guy out? I think I take this guy out. Yeah, I Because this guy has way more. Oh! His own bomb took him out! That's awesome! <laughs> I might... 
not <laughs> die. It's it's possible. It's possible. I might not die instantly. It's extremely <laughs> unlikely, but it's possible. I mean, I mean, Rook is still doing. Rook is still pretty doing. good. Krumer has. Krumer's okay. How much health does he have? Twelve. Well, actually, you might make it through this. That's really weird. We're gonna make this episode a long okay. one, just right. because there's a chance. All right, drama. There's a chance. There is a chance a that we don't chance. die here. Yeah, pick that guy off. I'm gonna take this guy down. I'm gonna deal a lot of damage to him. I'm gonna make sure that he can't cripple Krumer before he gets a chance to act. And I'm gonna make him run away so he's gotta get in range so he can't like then get out oh, of wow. range. Oh shit, okay. Keep, um, keep him next to Rook. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them together and I'm gonna move him over here. Okay. For once, having an archer is going to benefit you greatly. It is, and I kind of wish I'd kept Oddleaf alive a little better at the beginning. Yeah, that might, that might come back to bite me. That, yeah, that single-handedly would save you right now. Having two Absolutely. archers, I would have no problem. If I had even one other character, just one of the of the Hogan and Mogan crew, I think I'd be fine. Actually, you can... Mm, I was going to say, you could just have him rest and recover willpower. I could. Couldn't I? That might actually be good. Just let them come to you. And, yeah, I think uh, I will. Okay. Uh, because you don't have much left in the horn. And you're gonna need it. Yeah. I would move. Okay, let me figure out. This guy has four movement. So one, two, three, so four. So he's, he's gonna reach you. He can attack this space. So if I move him behind. Alternatively. I could run up on him because these guys can't get there in time. Yeah, I would move. I'm up. gonna run up on him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit him. I would hit him because. Deal this, damage? Yeah, if you knock his, his health. At least closer to what Krumer's armor is. Yeah, then Krumer's armor is eight, so he's so only dealing one damage. I think he's dealing two. Oh, I have to Ooh. run from that. That's a really good positioning for me, not so much for him. Yeah, it is the benefit, though, of only having two two people on the field right now, though, is that your turn actions are... are you, the number of actions these guys are getting are a lot Should higher. I, okay, Krumer has 12 health. He will get to act before this guy does, and I'm going to move him around to this side. I Krumer would, will deal. If I deal three armor damage, mm -hmm. then that'll be he'll be he'll still be like four short. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do it. I'm just gonna deal armor. Oh, but then the, the bomb will take him out. The bomb's gonna take him out before yeah, anything else happens. I don't think the bombs actually are affected by armor. They're not. No, they just deal straight up uh, health damage. So I would just do yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think they deal four though, but they might deal. He's, three. He might get hit by both bombs, and if he does, okay. then he's dead. Well, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna just gonna put him down. Then let's see what happens. Three armor. Sort of good. Four. I'm uh -oh. just gonna kill him. I'm just gonna kill him. We're done. Perfect. Done there. Okay. Uh, that's two more. And the bombs went off and killed. Uh, they did damage to Krumer. Fuck. I might be dead. Well, how many? They have two people left in the field. You. I think you I can do one. this. Well, yeah. You basically have one. <sighs> just as much armor damage as you can. I can only deal three because he's only got one exertion. Mm. But I'm gonna do three. That's twelve. Okay. Okay. Uh, now comes the tricky bit, because I'm pretty sure he can just reach me this turn. Yeah, just do a ton of damage. I'm just gonna deal seven to him. How's that? <laughs> and Rook has eight armor, so they're only able to do... A little bit of damage to him at yeah. a time, but still, two, two at a time is probably enough. Two or even one at a time is probably enough. Yeah, see, I already can't really harm him. This is gonna be so close. It's gonna be super close, man. If if this oh this might be exactly what you need. It might be exactly what I need. So I'm gonna so, move. So no 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 move move back. So yeah. he's got to move on to them. Exactly. It's probably. It smart. might be. Eh, that they, might be okay. They, they affect the space next to them as okay, well. Okay, then that might be perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal three to him, and maybe he'll get hit by both of them, and that'll kill him. I don't know how much damage they deal though. Oh, they Only went off two. early. Well, they go off before his next action, and because they're now moving oh, so much quicker, I the see. only problem now is oh, I have shit. to deal three damage to him, and I don't know if I can. I think you can. Yeah. Okay. Dude, you might do this. I might do this. If I do this, I'm a tactical wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is, is going to be a long one. I'm sorry about the light, guys. Stick with us. Seriously. It might get better. Okay, we're going to pause real quick just to reset the camera. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Um, I'm back, and I didn't move anything. Do I? I take down his armor, right? If you take down his armor... He can only deal one damage to me at a time. Actually, I would... It might be worth... No, he can deal two damage to you at a time. So it might be worth getting that one damage on him. So Do he I can try only to make deal, it four? 
It's a 70% chance to hit. It's pretty good chance. I'm gonna try it. This might be the only chance I have to actually turn this thing around. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead it. and deal four. Don't, don't, don't. Yes! Yes! Okay. Dude, we're gonna okay. do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna make this. it. We're gonna make it. Everybody's gonna be injured. We're gonna live. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna live. We oh are my going God. to live. Okay. Uh, he can't actually hurt me now. Well, he can, uh, he can but, but it's gotta, unlikely. It, it, he keeps deflecting, and he's got to keep walking back <laughs> into my range. <laughs> deflect, deflect. Oh my What's God. up, bitch? What's up? This is perfect. This is perfect. That, it's the two archers going toe to toe, and just like a field of dead male. Like, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this is everything that Rook was meant to be. Ivor's just like lying there, slowly bleeding out. Okay. Suck on that. I cannot believe we pulled this off. This is amazing. It, it really is amazing. Okay. Aw, oh, one. I'd be really bummed if that was the damage that took him out. Yeah, right? No, nah, he's dead. Boom. Boom. I got it. I got it. Yes. I'm the best. I'm the best. We'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you for sticking with us. I hope it was worth it. Uh, question of the day. Question Real quick. Day. I want to oh, ask you guys God. what you think a, uh, do you do you think there should be a flea mechanic? Yeah, in this in this game with the combat as difficult as it is, do you think there should be a flea mechanic? I don't think there should be. I think thematically I think you're right. Yeah, I, I'm I'm on that side, but I want to hear what you guys think. For sure. If you agree or disagree, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe, it helps us out a lot, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. <laughs>